Gentlemen, welcome back to the truck. All right, well, I uh, went to get another load of stuff to try and consolidate the collection in one spot. Yeah, that's kind of a handy thing to do. And I'm finally getting around to unloading the truck, so let's take a look at another piece of equipment. Here we go, IBM 3422. It's a tape drive. It's a nine track tape drive. You know, the typical computer y type of thing you always see. Well, the 3422 is interesting because it is kind of an oddball in the I IBM lineup. And it was the follow up to the 3420. Now, the 3420 is kind of the, the standard IBM half inch nine track tape. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you've seen them. You know, dual reels, glass front, uh, with a funny uh, control panel on top. Those tapes are, those drives are just great. They uh, they lasted in service for an extremely long time. Uh, but in the mid '80s, IBM uh, wanted to replace them, and uh, they came up with this thing. I think this was released in about 1986 or announced in 1986. Uh, you can tell it has the, uh, from that era, it has the square tag. And uh, these things, um, I don't think they sold a whole lot of them, simply because so many people just kept the 3420s going. The 3420 dates from the uh, early 70s, and they're probably mostly out of service now, but uh, they were certainly in service in the uh, early 2000s. Um, you know, the, the last line of them for the shops that uh, still had to deal with half-inch tape. So here we go, 3422. This is an A01, which means it's more or less the, uh, the tape drive and controller. Um, this does hook up with bus and tag. And we'll open that up in, the, in a bit. Let's take a look at it. Here you can see the little bit of a front panel here. Not much. Uh, glass front. Now, let's see if I can get this in. Oh, that's the dock plate. All right. Let's see if we can get this thing open. There we go. The, uh, the glass front is supposed to go down. It's being a little tricky but there we go half inch auto feeder drive vacuum column as you can see uh, very simple controls I do like there's a reset button <laughs> um, there's your typical big red switch that IBM stuff like so much uh, let's take a walk around and uh, pretty pretty uh, Pretty plain looking white box, but let's open it up. It's kind of a funny, funny way to open this thing. Um, pardon, pardon me. There we go. Let's put this over here. Yeah, the back just kind of lifts off. Well, you take the, the screws off. Now, this is a weird design, and you know, I'm kind of thinking it may not have been engineered by IBM because it's it doesn't look IBM it could have been they badge engineered this I don't know but let's take a look you can see it has quite a bit of electronics because this is uh, both the tape drive and the control unit and if we go down you can see the bus and tag way down there the power supply and then you have this weird card cage, which really doesn't look very IBM. It's got IBM part numbers, of course, but, you know, what's this weird stuff here? Take a look at the card. Brown thyself. And, uh, this stuff sort of looks, well, standard-ish. It's slightly IBM, let's just say that. Um, if I were to guess, I would say this looks kind of German. And, you know, another thing that kind of gives that away, let's get that in there. I don't know what this little thing is, but it's apparently some sort of deal. Uh, if you look at the tag, that funny S 
H logo there, Siemens Halski. Uh, that would imply this is a German product. Now, these things, like I said, they're not ter terribly common. You don't see these things come up too much because I, I think they were, uh, well, I don't think they sold too many of them. Um, I, I've only ever seen one or two strings of these in an actual mainframe shop. Uh, apparently, they were somewhat popular in the mid-range world with the uh, System 38 and such like that. Um, I don't know. Interesting, interesting device. You can see this one does need a cleanup. It's lived a little bit of a hard life wherever it was before. So it'll need, uh, you can see some paint loss error. So it'll, it'll need some cleanup and some touch up and such like that. I have no docks for it. Um, I do have the, uh, the floppy for it because yes, it, I take drive with a floppy right here. This is how you load the microcode, IMPL, Initial Microprogram Load. Uh, it's five and a quarter. So yeah, you have to boot this drive up. So yeah, that, that's a, a kind of an odd tape drive, 3422. Uh, yeah, if anyone out there has docs, I'd certainly like to talk to you about it. Um, eventually this thing will get uh, get restored and... and, and uh, put into some sort of service and uh, you know inside inside doesn't actually look too bad it's a little dirty but um, this is from a this is from a from an era where the, the the stuff generally hasn't decayed too much like on the 3420s oh boy those things are starting to have problems uh, with all the vacuum lines um, kind of disintegrating the vacuum switch is not working properly but this one you know, it's probably a late 80s build, let's just say. It's probably not too bad. So, yeah. We'll work on this at some point. Just got to get it out of the truck. You can see, uh, yeah, I've moved the stuff around here. Uh, just a little preview of stuff here. Here's a, here's a, a 35, what is this? A 35, 25, I think. Um, old 370 arrow punch machine. There's some 3350 drives in the back. Those are pretty uh, pretty rough. They're kind of parts units at this point. The CDC disc controller. Uh, that's a VAX 11780 in the back. Pretty nice shape. Um, and these, speaking of 3420s, these are actually Japanese clones. They're Hitachis. Now, they were uh, badge engineered for CDC. But they are essentially a uh, 3420 with a, uh, a clone 3803-ish um, control unit. Um, these were for CDC devices. It got kind of weird towards the end with CDC as they were, they were kind of forced to use um, what was called the federal standard for channels, um, which was basically bus and tag uh, and not cyber channel. Um, so eventually I'll work on, on, on this guy too, but yeah, just a little bit of a, uh, a preview, but anyway, yeah, 3422, kind of an oddball. Documentation wanted. Yeah. Big Russell install, uh, power connector. Of course, if you have docs, let me know. I think I have maybe like the, uh, the uh, uh, you know the overview manual, but actual like engineering docs and stuff like that, I really wouldn't mind getting my hands on. All right, well, back to unloading. Got to get all this stuff in there. That's my dock. That's an old rack which I need to get rid of. All right. If you like this, leave a like. Maybe even share it. Watch some back videos. Okay, talk to you later.